Howdy, Sam and Moo. We had a rug pull last May, June, and the markets were slammed down. Do you see a slam down happening again on this go around if we break the all time high or a rug pull later in the year with manipulated slam downs? Your thoughts? Yes, all of the above. In fact, we're probably going to see the largest hack ever in crypto blockchain history that's going to happen this year. Do we so, know what chain it's on? Uh, it's, I think it starts with a C. It starts with a C. And, uh, but if you're looking at exchanges, for example, they would be the most likely for the hack to occur because okay. if it's going to be the largest in history, it's going to have to be a big Celsius uh, also starts with a C. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. And you know what? And I, and I don't do Celsius because I don't have my private keys and I worry about somebody stealing my money if I don't yeah. have private keys, even yeah. though I don't know how it's going to happen because I, I just, I'm not getting okay. what it is. Um, it's okay. But the best thing to do is to look at what are the largest ones. You know, I'm sure anybody who asked me about Celsius, for example, you know, because it was like people kept at me. Like it was almost like they wanted my blessing to take this chance. Oh, well, right. if Sam tells me it's okay, then like, I'll go ahead and do it. <laughs> And I was yeah. like, I was like, no. How do you feel about the Celsius app for staking or the Celsius network? Uh, is it safe? Thank you both. My question is, do you hold your keys? And if you don't hold your keys, then it's not safe. Don't do it. And Summer says, hello, Sam. I am strongly considering taking a small loan against some of my current crypto holdings using the Celsius platform. Is this a good move? Uh, no, you don't have to do that. If you do that, then you won't have any cryptos. The, all the high anxiety, like if you're over leveraged and if you take like all of your dot and you put it on crack and like all of it, and then you have like this meltdown because it gets hacked and there's that time in between when the hack happens and you find out whether or not you're going to be reimbursed. I mean, you're just like, you know, you're just in meltdown. So you have like $700,000 US worth of polka dot and it just went poof. Do you think it's safe to keep funds like USDC on Celsius or BlockFi? Um, uh, Celsius, though, I don't think that is that based in the US. I think it's offshore, though. It's primarily in Europe, but uh, United States people can use it. I don't like stuff that they can just decide to go down because that's how that's how they would solve their problem if they had a liquidity problem because they were being careless. All they do is they just throw the switch. Yeah, just think here, Dutch Rooney, I didn't get like a specific month or anything like that. You'll notice though that with blockchain, things are gonna get really super busy you know, in the decentralized finance like this summer. It's gonna start getting super busy. And that's where you get a lot of these, you know, rug pulls and, you know, people are like yield farming and making ridiculous returns. But again, if something sounds too good to be true, a lot of times it really is. So you got to be careful about that. And you do believe it is a layer one chain? Yeah. Yeah, a chain or a token, uh, but it will recover. It will, lessons will be learned.